Welcome to the Doing It Is channel. Today we are going to create a form in Nux.js. But before that, I want to make a small change to our API. I was using a static value ID here. I want to use something like a unique ID generator called Nanoid. So let's install this. npm install Nanoid. What's, what's the name? Nanoid, yes. Nanoid. After installing, just required at the top. And then here we can use Nanoid. There we are. Let's start the server. Cool. We are done with that. Close this. Now we have to create our form. To get to our form, let's create a button here. Say create character. Let's go to index and create a button here somewhere at the top. Button. Give it a class. Let's make it a BG purple button. And make it rounded. Padding of two all around and say create character. Probably the text should be white and bold. Yeah. Cool. Oh, let's see it. Yeah. We got it. Let's give it a margin of two. All right. So this links to actually, this shouldn't be a button. This should be a Nux link since we are linking to a different page. The next link has two, and we want to say create. All right. Here we go to create, and there's no page. So let's create this page. Create dot view. Let's do div. Let's do uh, h1 create character. Okay. Yeah, there we are. Let's create a form now. Form. So uh, the create character has four input fields. Uh, I'm going to create those now. All right. So a div to get started. I'll do input. And this should have a V model of name as the first thing. And let's give it some classes. Uh, we'll give it a shadow order we'll make it rounded and py px3 and text gray of 700 yeah and make it uh, the leading is tight the line height is tight cool okay one car yeah this is how it will look Mm, yeah, not bad, I guess. We don't need labels for now. Let's ignore the labels. Let's duplicate this four more times since we need uh, gender and status and for image. So let's do gender. Let's go, uh, sorry, let's put a placeholder as well so that we know name, placeholder, gender. Status, status, and finally an image. I'm just going to put an image here, a random image string. I'm not going to do a file upload now. A placeholder image. Okay, let's create these data. Return name empty, and we have status. And uh, finally, image. Okay, we have to put a comma. Cool. Let's give this component a name. Name. Create character. Yeah. Cool. Finally, we need a button. Button type. Submit create character. Oh, 
let's make it a green button bg green and py to px3 and font import text white cool let's give it uh, margins all around uh, a margin bottom of four and then All right. Now to do right our mutation. So this is actual this is the actual lesson. So now we have all the information. So once we once someone fills out the form, all of these values will be stored in these variables. Okay, so now we want to when this form is going to submit we are going to grab that event so at submit we want to prevent don't do anything else and just call this function we'll do create character is the function name here let's go to methods create this function okay now we can use apollo mutate function uh, to uh, insert this record to our uh, GraphQL server. So it starts with this Apollo mutate. Okay. And we, of course, we need to import the GQL to write our query from GraphQL tag. Yeah. Okay, now we'll use GQL to write our mutation. Mutation GQL open and close the template details. We'll write a mutation and pass in the arguments. So, how many arguments do we have? We have name, it's going to be a string, status, uh, status string is the same argument list as we had in the server gender and finally image also string please note this at the end is not required all right now what is what is the mutation that we created we created as add character is the mutation name okay add character and now all we have to do is pass in these to this add character mutation so name is going to be name status sorry status is going to be status And uh, and finally, image. Okay, now we have. Uh, so all we have done right now is we. I said it's a mutation, and these are the list of arguments. So these are variables that we need to actually assign values to. And in the add character mutation, we are going to take these variables, values, and assign them here. All right. So of course, once we write a mutation, we also have to expect to values, return values. So I'm going to say name, expect the name and gender. Again, by habit, I have put commas at the end, but you don't need them. Okay, now to finally, so this is the mutation part. Sorry, this is the mutation part. Now we need to write our variables variables it's very similar to when we did um, argue passing arguments to a query uh, the same thing goes to mutation so it's not that different the name is this dot name these are coming these are coming from uh, our view js component so name status i'm sorry there's a lot of repression but we have to get to them 
agenda image is this dot image all right so we have passing uh, assigning the passing the variables from here so this should be the same name as this with just a dollar sign in front okay i think we are done uh, one thing we can do is we get a promise from this so once we receive the promise we can say uh, just uh, uh, reset our form we can reset our form but this event is actually getting passed here let's try this out can't resolve fs let's try restarting the server and pm run dev dependency was not found I'm not using FS. Import GraphQL was not found. GraphQL upload. Oh, this is GraphQL tech. Sorry. Okay, now we are back. Okay, let's try to save myself. Let mail alive. And let's get a random string here and say that it's three by. 300 let's add character this target undefined but let's make sure that we have we have stored it oops oh yeah we have actually stored it this is my bad me submitting it again um yeah we stored it and yeah of course it says that the target is not found that because that is because we don't we are not passing an event yeah so let's not try to reset it here if not we have to get the event here okay okay let's try to do another one um dawn yeah. dead um random string great yeah that is it now we are good actually okay so if we go back here we will see all the newly created characters so we have john which doesn't have an image because i just typed stf that also doesn't have it this is the one i actually add the added the image all right uh that's just a simple lesson a long a little bit longer lesson that is all because of the form i was creating all the form but other than that this is the only thing that you will need to learn everything else is html and basic view um, i know that this does not look right uh, i'm not comfortable in using this api but we have the new composition api coming in and we are going to have view apollo is also done with the new composition api and once that is there we are going to actually replace all of this with that uh, with the combustion api method of doing using hooks all right so that covers this lesson i hope you enjoyed and learned something please do subscribe share and like and have a good day thank you for watching bye